Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Brenna and today's video is super exciting. If you saw my last video, then you know what's coming. This is a video all about sibling names to go along with the top 10 most popular boys names. So the idea is if you have a little boy named one of these top 10 names, then these names I'm offering in today's video might be really good sibling name options if you're having another kiddo, or really this is just a fun way for me to think about names in a different way and could be a fun challenge for you if you wanna think about some ways to match these names. Now, there's no rule out there that says you have to match your kids' names in any way. It's perfectly fine if there's nothing connecting your kids' names. But if you do want to connect your kids' names, there are a lot of ways to do so. So I just chose three techniques, I guess, for today's video. First being matching the sound. So taking some of the prominent letters and sounds within the first name to run with and find another name that has those sounds. The second is to keep the same first letter, which is a very popular one, to have all your kids named with the same first letter of their name. And then the last way I chose to do today is by a shared meaning. So taking the meaning of that first name and finding other names that have a similar meaning. Now, it's not always gonna be the same exact meaning because that can be hard sometimes, but the same idea, the same principle, the same realm of meanings. So. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. I put out new videos on Mondays and Thursdays with themed baby name lists to inspire you. So with all of that said, I'm really excited. We have a lot of names to talk about, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I've got them all right here in front of me. We're gonna start out with the most popular boy's name, which is Liam. And starting with matching sounds or matching structure, the thing that sticks out to me about the name Liam is the soft M ending. And so for boys, I chose the name Graham. So if you have a Liam, you might like the sibling name Graham. G-R-A-H-A-M. Same A-M soft ending. And I love last names as first name, which Graham is. So I couldn't resist putting it on this list. The other thing I love about the name Liam is the I-A combination in the middle in the middle of the name there. So for a girl sibling, I chose the name Fiona, F-I-O-N-A, Liam and Fiona, I think are a beautiful combo. They have the same vowel sounds, but a different starting letter that makes these sound just different enough that they're not super matchy. If you wanna maintain the same first letter of L, I love the boy's name Layton, Liam and Layton, L-A-Y-T-O-N. If it's into that, classic trendy uh model right now we see of two syllable boys names ending in n late in for girls i love the name libba l-i-b-b-a liam and libba libba comes from the traditional name elizabeth so it's a great way to honor elizabeth as well if you have one of those in your family i love liam and libba together so if you wanted to match meanings with the name liam you could consider the boy's name Titan, T-I-T-A-N, meaning protector. Liam and Titan, two syllables. Liam's a little bit more classic, whereas Titan is a little more brave, a little more modern, but I think it's a great balance, those two together. For girls, I love the name Alessia, A-L-E-S-S-I-A, -S -S meaning defender. It's also very vowel prominent. It has that I-A at the end that we see in the middle of Liam, and it shares that meaning. Liam and Alessia, I think, are a perfect combo, and they also just have a lot of the same sounds, which could be very appealing to you. So if you have a little Liam and you're looking for a sibling name, you might like Graham, Fiona, Layton, Libba, Titan, or Alessia. Moving on to the second most popular boy's name, Noah. The things that stand out to me about the name Noah is really mostly the prominent O ending, or not ending, the prominent O vowel of Noah. It's very strong. And so for a boy sibling, I thought about the name Rowan, R-O-W-A-N. So instead of starting with the end like Noah, we put it at the end there and we maintain the long O vowel, Noah and Rowan. They sound like they go together, but they're just different enough that I don't think your child or your children will get confused when you're calling one of them. For girls, I wrote the name Shiloh, S-H-I-L-O-H. Noah and Shiloh go beautifully together. Also, Shiloh is one of those names I try to fit sort of in every video that it 
fits into because it's one of my favorites. It could also be used as a boy's name. So if you're having a boy and you don't like Rowan that I mentioned, you might like the name Shiloh. If you want to maintain the N at the beginning, I love the boy's name Nichols, N-I-C-H-O-L-S, Noah and Nichols. Nichols sounds a lot like Nicholas or Nick, which we're familiar with, but I like something a little bit unique. I also love boys' names that end in S and sound like last names, so Nichols sticks out to me for those reasons. For girls, what about the name Naomi, N-A-O-M-I? It also has the strong O that we see in Noah, so it not only starts with N, but it has a similar sound there in the middle. Noah and Naomi, I think, go perfectly together. If you want a name that matches in meaning to Noah, which has an interesting meaning, it means rest and repose, which I had to broaden a little bit to find similar meaning names. So some of these mean rest, some mean peaceful. So the boy's name I have for you is the name Galen, G-A-L-E-N, meaning rest and calm. Noah and Galen, both two syllables. Noah starts with N, Galen ends in N, and they have that same meaning that I think could be a really wonderful connection between your kids. For girls, what about the name Serena, S-E-R-E-N-A, Noah and Serena, I think also go well together. Serena means peaceful, it comes from the word serene. So if you have a Noah already and you want a sibling name, you could like the names Rowan, Shiloh, Nichols, Naomi, Galen, or Serena. Now, Oliver is the third name on the boys list. Oliver has so much going for it. It has the O sound we just talked about. It's got the V, which is like the star letter these days for like rare letters. V is the most popular. And then also the L sound that has been popular in girls and boys names for forever, literally forever. So focusing in on that V letter for matching the sound, I went with the boy's name Everett, E-V-E-R-E-T-T, -E -E Oliver and Everett. They both have three syllables. They're very centered around a V letter and they give me similar vibes. I think of Oliver as a very playful, lively name, maybe because it has the word L-I-V-E within it, but Everett gives me the same sort of feelings. Very bouncy, very playful. For girls, I chose the name Valerie, V-A-L-E-R-I-E. -E. So we have the V, the L, and the R from Oliver. Oliver and Valerie, I think could be really cute together. If you want a name that starts with the letter O to go with Oliver, what about the boy's name Odin? O-D-I-N, Oliver and Odin. Odin was one that I put on my favorite baby name starting with the letter O that actually surprised me the most. I didn't realize how highly it was rated, so it seems to be getting a lot more use than I knew about. For girls, I love the name Oakland, O-A-K-L-Y-N. Oliver and Oakland, I think could be really cute together. Oliver comes from the olive tree, which is often a symbol of forgiveness and peace. So to, to match that meaning, I have the boy's name Rafe, R-A-I-F, meaning forgiveness. I think it's a really cool name, Oliver and Rafe. I think could go really well together. Or for girls, what about the name Kazumi, K-A-Z, U-M-I, meaning peace, Oliver and Kazumi. So both of these names that match the meaning of Oliver are definitely unranked, sort of out there options. But I think it's cool to balance your kids' names between more popular and more rare maybe. So Oliver is definitely on the more popular end, but Rafe and Kazumi are certainly not. So if you have a little Oliver, you might like the sibling names Everett, Valerie, Odin, Oakland, Rafe, or Kazumi. Moving on to the name Elijah, number four in the boys charts. For the matching the sound part, for boys, I really focused in on the ending of Elijah and chose the name Josiah, J-O-S, I-A-H, which I think go perfectly together. So Josiah starts with the J that you see in the middle of Elijah, but maintains that uh ending, very biblical sounding. They're both in the Bible, Elijah and Josiah. For girls, I went with the name Julia, J-U-L-I-A, Elijah, Julia. I think they have very similar sounds, but are not too matchy in my opinion. For matching the same first letter, that E. I love, if you have a little Elijah, the boy's name Edison, 
Elijah and Edison, E-D-I-S-O-N. I traditionally love boys' names ending S-O-N. I made a whole video about them if you want to check that out. But I think Edison is just similar enough to Elijah. It has the same E beginning letter. It sounds a little old fashioned because we know of Thomas Edison, the inventor, but it definitely feels wearable in current day. The girl's name Estelle came to mind for me, E-S-T-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Elijah and Estelle. Not only do they share the same E beginning, but they also both have the L sound, Elijah at the beginning, Estelle at the end. But I love that little connection there as well. If you want to share the same meaning as Elijah, you might consider the boy's name Isaiah, I S. -E a i a h meaning salvation of the lord elijah and isaiah both biblical names very similar structure and very similar meaning so that could be a perfect match for you if you're having a little girl you might like the name danielle d-a-n-i-e-l-l-e -L -L -E, meaning god is my judge very prominent E-L sound again near the end there that matches the beginning of Elijah. Elijah and Danielle go really nicely together. So if you have a little Elijah and you're looking for a sibling name, you could consider Josiah, Julia, Edison, Estelle, Isaiah, or Danielle. Estelle and Danielle, they rhyme. <laughs> Next up is the name James, a very classic name. So for matching that sound, I chose the boy's name Caden, C-A-D-E-N, a more new, fresh, modern name. It still has that long A vowel, which sticks out to me in the name James, James, Caden. I love those together. For girls, another one with the long A sound, Maeve. M-A-E-V-E, -E, getting a lot of talk and attention right now. James, Maeve, one syllable, long A vowel. It's a no-brainer for me. If you want another name that starts with J, like James, what about the boy's name Jared? James and Jared, J-A-R-E-D. Or the girl's name Jordan, J-O-R-D-A-N, James and Jordan. I love those together. There are so many beautiful J names. It was really hard for me to choose. For shared meaning, I actually chose names that come from the same root as the name James. So they're derivatives of the same name. For boys, what about the name Jacoby? J-A-C-O-B-Y, meaning supplanter. They both mean supplanter because they're all from the same name. James and Jacoby, I love those together. Or the girl's name, Jacqueline. J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E -E is my preferred spelling, but there are definitely other spellings out there if you would like to go that direction. James and Jacqueline, I think that's so cute. So if you have a little James and you want a sibling name, you might like Caden, Maeve, Jared, Jordan, Jacoby, or Jacqueline. Lots of J names in there. Next up on the boys list is the name William. Another super classic one. We see a lot of traditional classic names in the top of boys' names. Sometimes we see more modern ones in the girls' top 10, but boys' top 10 tends to be pretty steady, classic, old-fashioned names. So to go along with the name William, the things that stick out to me, the double L, very prominent in the name, and that's sort of what I ran with to match the sound. So a matching boy's name, in my opinion, is the name Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R, William and Miller, taking the M from the end of William, putting it at the beginning. This is a classic last name as first name example, like poster child last name as first name. It's an occupation name for one who grains, um, or grinds grains. I love the name Miller. I think it could also be a girl's name, but I included it for boys today. For a little girl sibling, I love the name Lilia, L-I-L-I-A. So not only do you maintain the L's, but you also have the I-A that you see in William, William and Lilia. Now, Lilia is a variation of the name Lily, a very classic name, but I would go for something a little more unique and rare like Lilia probably. If you want another name that starts with W, I love the boy's name Wesley, W-E-S-L-E-Y. William and Wesley, perfect, perfect pair, chef's kiss. I love them together. And I also love the girl's name that I put on this, this list, Whitney, W-H-I-T-N-E-Y, William and Whitney. Oh, gorgeous. I don't know what it is. I don't love a lot of W names, but the ones I love... I really love it seems and I love Wesley I love Whitney they go perfectly with William 
If you want to match the meaning of William, you might like the boy's name Edmund, E-D-M-U-N-D, meaning protector. William and Edmund go really nicely together. For girls, Kendra, K-E-N-D-R-A, meaning protector. If you've been around my channel quite a bit, I've mentioned Kendra very often because I love the name Kendra. I cannot get over it. And so when I saw a matching meaning to William, I said, mm, Kendra's got to go on here. William and Kendra, love them together. So if you have a little William and you're looking for a sibling name, you might like Miller, Lilia, Wesley, Whitney, Edmund, or Kendra. On to the name Benjamin. I love the length of this name. For boys, I actually took the ending sound of Benjamin and just changed the first letter and made Damon, D-A-M-O-N, Benjamin and Damon. I love those together. Damon's a little shorter, a little more current. I think we don't see it as much in the historical charts as we do the name Benjamin. For girls, I also focused in on the ending sound and went with the name Jasmine, J-A-S-M-I-N-E, Benjamin and Jasmine, I think are really beautiful pair together. Now, matching the first letter of Benjamin, which is B, I don't know why I paused there, the first letter being B. Matching that, this was so hard for me to choose because there's so many beautiful B names. And no, I did not put my own name on here. I was tempted, but I didn't. For boys, I have the name Blake, B-L-A-K-E, Benjamin and Blake. So I mentioned I love the length of Benjamin, but Blake, one syllable, straight, to the point, strong. I love sort of the juxtaposition. They balance each other really well. And for girls, I love the name Bridget, B-R-I-D-G-E-T, Benjamin and Bridget. They both sound very distinguished, upscale, elevated, like you need to sit up straight, you know, like Benjamin and Bridget. I love them together. They remind me of like a period piece, like uh, Pride and Prejudice or something like that. Putting those two names together, that's the vibe I get. <laughs> if you want to match the meaning of the name Benjamin, you like you might like the boy's name Nathaniel, another long one, N-A-T-H-A-N-I-E-L, meaning God has given, or the girl's name Hannah, H-A-N-N-A-H, meaning gift of God. So Benjamin and Nathaniel, or Benjamin and Hannah, I love together. If you have a little Benjamin, the sibling names I have for you are Damon, Jasmine, Blake, Bridget, Nathaniel, and Hannah. Three more to go. The name Lucas is next up in the top 10 for boys, and I really focused in on that S ending to match the boy's sibling name, Silas. S-I-L-A-S, -S, Lucas and Silas. They share the S ending. Lucas starts with an L. Silas has the L in the middle. I love it. Silas is a little bit of a boho trendy name that I think would go perfectly with the name Lucas. I went a little bit of a different route for matching the girl sound. I took the C-A-S at the end of Lucas and put it at the beginning of a name. So Lucas and Cassia. C-A-S-S-I-A. -S -S -I, I think that's a beautiful way to match these names, Lucas and Cassia. So they share a part of the name, but it's not in the same section, the same area of their name. So they sound very individual, very unique on their own, but they do have that connection there with those three letters. Matching the L letter at the beginning, I put the boy's name Lennon, L-E-N-N-O-N, Lucas and Lennon, two syllables, very soft sounds for the most part. I really like them together. And for girls, the name Leah, L-E-A-H, Lucas and Leah. Leah is one of the more popular ones I have on this list. I tended to choose some more rare, unique options because that's just my own personal taste, but Leah is so beautiful, so timeless, a lot like Lucas. Now to match the meaning was actually a little bit difficult because the name Lucas means from Lusania, which is a an area of Italy. So I broadened it to match the meaning of places in Italy. So you'll see what I mean. For boys, I have the name Roman, R-O-M-A-N, meaning from Rome, Italy. So Lucas and Roman, Again, two syllables, soft sounds, I love them together. And for girls, Milan, M-I-L-A-N, which is another Italian place name. 
Lucas and Milan. I think those are beautiful together. So if you have a little Lucas and you're looking for a sibling name, you might like Silas, Cassia, Lennon, Leah, Roman, or Milan. On to the last two. Number nine in the boys chart is the name Henry. So for the boys name, I took the RY at the end of Henry and made it the beginning of a name, a lot like I did with Lucas and Cassia. So for a sibling for Henry, I like the name Ryan, R-Y-A-N, Henry, Ryan, both classics. We're all familiar with the names. I feel like I know a lot of Henrys. I know a lot of Ryans. They're very well loved and for good reason. They're gorgeous names. For girls, I maintained the R-Y sound at the end, but changed the beginning. And I have the name Carrie, C-A-R-R-I-E, Henry and Carrie. I love them together. I love that Carrie is sort of a nicknamey name. And those are getting a lot of talk right now. We see a lot of vintage nicknames coming back around. So I think Carrie would be a very timely option. If you want a name that stays with the same first letter of H, I had to include one of my favorite boys' names of all time, and that's the name Hayes, H-Y-H-Y, no, H-A-Y-E-S, Henry and Hayes. They both have the Y letter as well, which is a cool connection. Hayes is a last name as first name, my favorite category of all. For girls, I have the name Hallie, H-A-L-L-E. I've also seen it spelled H-A-L-L-I-E, if you prefer. Henry, Hallie, they both end in the E sound, start with the H sound, two syllables, perfect pairing in my book. Now, if you want to match the meaning of ruler or leader, you could consider the boy's name Eric, E-R-I-C, meaning ruler, or the girl's name Aubrey, A-U-B-R-E-Y, meaning ruler as well. And Aubrey has the same R-Y, R-E-Y ending as Henry, so that's another connection there. Henry and Eric, or Henry and Aubrey. So if you have a little Henry and you're looking for a sibling name, you could consider Ryan, Carrie, Hayes, Hallie, Eric, or Aubrey. The last name in the top 10 for boys is the name Theodore. So a very distinguished, upscale, traditional, long boys name here. The things that stick out to me about the name Theodore, Theodore are all the vowels, especially the O's. And the R there at the end really sticks out to me, which is where I took the boys matching sound from. So I went with the name Romeo, R-O-M-E-O, -E Theodore and Romeo. So I was thinking a little bit that Theodore is often shortened to Theo, same ending as Romeo. Theodore, Romeo, so you might call your kids Theo and Romeo, and those kind of, they rhyme, they go really well together, I think that's really cute. And sticking with the same idea of Theo, I went with the girl's name Althea, A-L-T-H-E-A, -E Althea, Theodore and Althea, perfect pairing in my mind. Althea is not a name we hear very often, but I actually know someone with that name, and I think it is gorgeous. It starts and ends with an A, which is a very classic structure for a feminine girl's name. If you want another name that starts with the letter T, what about the boy's name Tristan? T-R-I-S-T-A-N, Theodore and Tristan. I think that's really beautiful. Or the girl's name Tessa, T-E-S-S-A, one of my longtime favorite names, Theodore and Tessa. And then finally, to match the meaning of Theodore, I have the boy's name Nathan. N-A-T-H-A-N, meaning gift of God. So I mentioned Nathaniel as a sibling name for Benjamin, and they have Theodore and Benjamin have very similar meanings. So no surprise that Nathan also ended up as a sibling name because I like Nathan and Nathaniel. Or the girl's name Gia, G-I-A, meaning God's gracious gift, which is such a sweet meaning. Theodore and Nathan, Theodore and Gia. A lot like if you called your um, kid Theo, they have the name Theodore and you call them Theo. I think that goes really well with Gia. Theo and Gia. Oh, I love it. So if you have a Theodore and you're looking for a sibling name, you might like Romeo, Althea, Tristan, Tessa, Nathan, or Gia. So that was a lot of names today. This was a fun little 
sort of experiment for me to do as well as give some name options to you all if you're looking for one. I would love to hear some of your ideas down in the comments section below because of course there are so many ways to match sibling names if you want to but of course you don't have to. Again, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you next time.